Hey guys, it's Full Cuts here, Lava Direct, Brooklyn, New York City, and look at this man. Feast your eyeballs on this puppy here. Box in 1996-1997 Pinnacle Be a Player Series 1. Uh, what fun under the sun. You know, initially, guys, I thought this was 1997-1998, uh, the subsequent year, because the, this box looks exactly like Series B, because it's blue box from the subsequent year. And I think they're confused online a lot, actually. So I almost made a mistake with regard to the checklist. But here, let's do it, guys. And guys, if you haven't seen my break of the subsequent year stuff, of the, whatever they call it, Series A from the uh, subsequent year, it had 47 autos in it. Check out that break. It's one of my most famous, infamous, crazy breaks ever. But let's rummage, roll, rock through this bad boy as quick as we possibly can. Eight cards per pack, 16 packs per box, 128 cards total. Base set, one through 110. Uh, and I think the rest, I think goes up to 220, including the series two. So theory, in theory, we should receive an auto per pack, guys. So that's 16 autos total. I think there's the link to history, which are the die cuts. I think the chase cards are one in five, so that would be about 3.2 chase cards. The biscuit and the basket and the um, stacking the pads, which are really shiny, shiny, shiny cards. Uh, fortuitous, on the back we actually have our checklist. So this is the base checklist, and you see it goes right up to 110. Uh, and you know what's interesting, so one, card 111 would be Messier, so he's not in this one. Although they do have these really super rare uh, Lindros die cut autos and a Mark Messier die cut auto. So you could potentially, I mean, it, it looks like a yeah, holy grail hit. And here's the link to history and the biscuit in the basket and the stacking pad inserts. And down there it says one in five for those inserts, uh, as far as I can gander. So let's do it, guys. I mean, what a treat. What a treat uh, to be replete with 16 autos. Uh, the rookies would be, I think, uh, Andreas Johansson, Todd Simpson, uh, Daniel Gano, and, and Dackel. So Andreas Dackel would be the one sort of, wow, this is thick old school um, plastic. Yeah, Dackel would be the sort of known rookie. Not that many known rookies, I guess. And series two of this actually has Steve Sullivan, Dwayne Rolly the goalie, um, Freddie Modine, and Mike Greer, who's the uh, new GM of Power Tomb, Mr. Mike Greer, after spending time in the Rangers organization and the Blackhawks organization, he was promoted, which is awesome sauce for him. All right, so let's do it. These are a bit papery uh, compared to some of the other years, I think. Uh, but a nice glean and sheen on the side, and yeah, they have the stats from the prior year. So let's do it. There's Ted Donato, Stefan Yell, O'Quinn, uh, Matthew Dondino, a one-time Hab, and there's Peter Spoboda, another one-time Hab, and we have two cards. Is this what's, so what are the differences between these two things here? Is this the auto? And yes, indeed, oh, wow! Off the hop, off the skip, off the jump, off the pop. We hit the Luke Rowitai auto. He's one of the best ones uh, in the t at the top of the checklist, in other words. And this, what is this? Uh, I, I can barely read what this is. Link to history frame collection set. Oh, it's a set offer. I think that's a mail-in opportunity. How crazy to hit the Luke Robitaille though. Uh, you know, I mean, the checklist is replete with people who you might not know, uh, particularly if you're young, um, but Luke Robitaille, uh, arguably the best, one of the best left wingers all time, guaranteed. I mean, everybody will say OV now, but of course you have Robitaille and Johnny Busick, Ren Shanahan and all the other cats of that nature. Bobby Hull, I think, was left winger. So let's go, guys. Uh, we have Malik, we have Kelly Chase, there's another Kelly, Baumgartner, Weinrich, Bill Berg, uh, Mike Stapleton, and I assume well, one of these is the, oh wow, we hit, up. Oh, so this is really cool. We actually hit a die cut and then we hit an auto. So this is one of the link to history die cut, and it's Pat Lafontaine. That is excellent, guys. That is amazing. How lucky are we? So as you can see, link to history, that's why it's not numbered, so you know it's a die cut. And our next odd, oh wow, we hit the Rob Brendamore, number 17. Look at that card. This is unbelievable, guys. Wow, I'm gonna enjoy this break. It might be a 20 minute break. Uh, I can't believe the names we've hit. We've hit two of the best names possible. 
This is wild, guys. So there's Guy Hebert, Guy Hebert. He's actually an American player. I think he's from New York. Yashin, uh, Stephen Rice, Jason Allison, Kevin Hatcher, Oli the goalie, as well as Bobby uh, Dulles. And let's see who our next one is. It appears to be a Vancouver Canuck. And it's Essa Tikkanen. Wow. This is, this is unbelievable, this box, guys. These are not nobodies. These are somebody square. That's funny. It's funny to see him. And there he is again in a Vancouver. We associate him, of course, with the Edmonton, uh, you know, uh, overtime goal. Um, so let's continue on, guys. There's Ty Domi. Uh, Langdon, Ulf Dahlin, and behind the Pavanka. So these are just in every box, those offers. So let's see who this one is. And it happens to be an LA King, and it's Barry Potomsky. Okay, a little bit of lesser known player there. One thing worth noting, guys, if you see these cards on the secondary market, you know they're legit because they have gold. So if you see one with silver and someone signed on it, it's probably a forgery. I'm not saying people necessarily forge these old cards, but uh, on occasion they might, they certainly might if it's a big name, as you can imagine, or they might have, uh, but yeah. So Kaminsky, Mike Gartner, amazing. There's John Casey, wouldn't mind one of his autos. There's Stefan Richet with the Habs. Uh, Peter Popovich, somebody recently I was trying to remember him and I, and I knew exactly who he was talking about. He said number 34. I remembered Popovich by his number, which is hilarious. Oh, this is another one of these die cuts, guys. And it's Ethan Morrow, Link to History. So we're definitely receiving a couple of those. And our auto is Peter Zezel. All right, man, this is awesome. And it's an also a really nice auto. Wow, what a what a product, guys! I definitely re recommend this product, particularly if you can get it for like a hundred. I'd say about 120 bucks now in this market. Sallow, Sweeney, Wilkie, uh, Woolley, Byron Defoe, uh, McKenzie. So we are receiving a ton of links to history. I'd understood. I think in the subsequent year, there's only three per box. We've already hit three here. Oh, look at that! We hit the Jerome Aginla. So this would be an interesting subset to, to build. Very, very nice. And then our auto is Nicholas Anderson. All right, and look at that. They got the old aisle uniforms. I don't know what they call those uniforms. Did they call them the fisherman uniforms? It was, I think, a name for them. Very, very cool looking uniforms, guys. Uh, there's Mark Fitzpatrick. I want a Kelly Rudy auto. That's what I'm asking for. JJ Daniel, I might open another box. Luke Robitaille, Joel Otto. Nicholas Anderson, Andrew Stackle. So this, I believe, is a rookie card of his. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer. And who is this? It, it actually, if I saw correctly, it's actually a all-star. So it has to be someone half decent. Oh, wow. Habs Mojo and Penn's Mojo. Mark Recchi. That is wicked. It's one of the silver ones. I mean, whew, another great historical player. This is like a hot box of big names. I'm telling you, if you look at all the other names in between, uh, this is a rookie card. I think it knows is a rookie card. But you know what I mean? You could be getting guys like this instead of hitting all the big ones. There's Bill Guerin. Uh, there's Shane Corson. That'd be really nice. I'd love to hit a Shane Corson. There's Titov. And we have a duck link here. So the link would be Paul Correa. This is unbelievable, man. Amazing. And a Jamie Baker. So he finally hit a Maple Leaf, but it's a lesser known uh, Maple Leaf. Uh, he was initially, originally a uh, Quebec Nordique. That's how old these cards are. These players have played on the Nordiques. Uh, man, amazing. All right, there's Ally Afraidy. Wouldn't mind hitting him. Um, Joe Murphy, Donald Odette, one time have. Uh, Johansson, I think the Johansson's a rookie card, if unless I'm mistaken. Shannon, and we have another auto here, and our auto here is a shark. Oh, wow! We hit the Ally of Frady. Crazy! That's amazing. It's just been one wow after another, man. But if you look at this checklist, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to hit an Ally of Frady and the Mark Recchi and the Rob Brandemore. If we could hit the Doug. Gilmar, I'd be over the moon. I'm already over the moon. I already want to buy another box of this stuff. I've been threatening to buy this stuff or to open this stuff for a hell of a long time. 
But it's interesting how many linked to, to uh, history are in here, a lot more than I expected. I uh, wasn't really sure about that, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Zettler, Corey Hirsch, wouldn't mind his auto. Uh, Jeremy Roenick, Chatan, there's the Baker, David Roberts, and what is this? What is this? This is an insert. Oh, cool, man. So this is the biscuit in the basket inserts. Uh, man, that is really cool, and it's McGillney. And I can already see, I know that this is Todd Gill's auto, because I think he was the first card on the checklist, as we just saw. Um, but look at this Alexander McGillney. This is unbelievable. What a cool, cool one. Usually receive, I believe we should receive one per box of these, of each of the normal inserts. And here, in fact, would be the Todd Gill, which is wonderful. He also was a one-time leaf. All right. Ah, oh, this is just crazy for comfort gink. Uh, continuing on, guys. So we got Brad May, we got Tom Fitzgerald, Eric Desjardins, man, he was great with the halves. Look at the Sean Burke. How about a Sean Burke auto, guys, with the guitar? Uh, Mark Bureau, we have Mayette. Oh, there's the Kelly Rudy. See, that's the auto I really want to hit. Um, and we, of course, hit the Leaf Auto, and it's Jamie Baker. Oh, wait a second. So this one here, uh, I guess we received one per box of it. It's one of the silver ones. So we actually hit two of these bad boys, but this is our silver uh, short print one. What a product. After watching this break, people are gonna run out and buy this stuff. Robert Reichel, Kelly Miller, Kevin Todd, uh, Miranov, uh, delicious vodka. Wilson, Anderson, and we have another one. Uh, is this, um, what's his name? Let's see, oh, or is it Rem, is it? Oh, it's Rem Murray, okay. I don't know why I thought it was Yashin. I thought I saw um, Sens, but it's obviously not the Sens, the Oilers. And, oh, yes! That is so funny. I hit the Sean Burke, and look at this, he signed the guitar. I wanted, I wanted him or Kelly Rudy or Andy Moog. That is amazing. He signs the guitar so you can, it's actually perfectly placed to auto. This is, this is a keeper guys. This is like, I'm gonna put, this is a centerpiece card right there. You guys might wonder why I would like Sean Burke. Sean Burke played over 800 NHL games, which makes it, it's his 15th all time in games played. You know who's 14th in all time in games played? It's Jack Plante. Uh, just to give you an idea how many games he's played, so I'm I'm over the moon here. There's Doug Gilmore. I wouldn't mind. Wow, he's with the Devils. It's amazing. Uh, that would be just be icing at this point. All right, guys. Uh, another one of the links, and the link would be Pat Lafontaine. Is this our second Pat Lafontaine? I feel like we hit him before, didn't we? Very very cool. And then who is this? And it's Daniel Gano. So this is a rookie auto of Daniel Gano. All right. Okay out of the Laval Titan. Only played a few NHL games, did he? But he was a Ranger. All right, three packs left, three autos left. 16 autos in box, guys. I mean, just bonkers, bonkers LaRue. Scott Lachance, Boucher, Brown, Schwab, uh, Renberg, Mark Recchi, and behind the Denis Lambert is 105. Who is 105? And it's Todd Simpson, okay. All right, uh, I think you guys remember him, don't you? All right, and that would have been his rookie card as well. Rookie auto, Todd Simpson. And two packs left, I mean, can we pull anything else? M more miraculous? I doubt it. This, this broad Brandon Moore card has to go down in history as one of the most hilarious cards ever. Uh, Sylvain Lefebvre, Jeff Hackett, Ad Andrew Chuck, uh, Mark Bergevin, Mark Bergevin is sighting. All right, and then we have the Sergei Berezin die cut. Seems like these are every two packs, no? And the Darren Turcotte uh, auto. These autos are really beautiful. Last pack, guys, can we have some last pack mojo? I, we don't need it, we don't need last pack mojo, but we'll certainly take it. Last pack, guys, let's see what we can maneuver and muster. Brian Leach, that would be a great one. Todd Gill. Kamensky, Jamnov, Chambers, Pat Jablonski. Holy crap, what a name from the past. Okay, so, oh cool. We hit the Eric Lindros die cut. That is really, really cool. 
and behind him is Garpin Loft. Mm. So this is just a base die cut, I gather, but it's a great one, that's amazing. And then we, our last auto would be the Johan Garpin Loft, if you guys remember him. All right, guys, time for a quick recap. We received about 100 of the base cards, which is awesome. I think there's 110 uh, in series one, so we received 100 cards. And then in terms of the die cuts, I guess we're supposed to receive uh, one every second pack, so we did in fact receive eight. So we have a bunch of big names. I mean, Iggy, and then we have Paul Correa, Lindros, and two Pat Lafontaine, so that's very cool. A bunch of die cuts, a stack of die cuts, guys. We did receive one of the inserts and we received the biscuit in the basket. Uh, did not receive a stack in the pads or stack pads or whatever it's called. But very shiny, shiny insert. And then in terms of the autos, man, guaranteed 16 autos and it didn't disappoint. We hit a bunch of great ones. There's Todd Gill, Gano and Simpson, I think are rookies. Turcotte, I mean, there's the Sean Burke. I wanted this one it's awesome with him, the guitar and his nice auto. Very clean. Ally Frady, how crazy is that? Zezel, Brandon Mortikin and Baker. Robitaille, which I can't believe we actually hit that, and Jamie Baker again in the silvers, and Mark Recchi auto in the silvers. So what a product, guys. Just a spectacular product. Highly, highly uh, recommended, not highly sought, which is exactly what you want to see. Uh, go out and get it, guys. Go out and get it. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, do me the big honor. Uh, sub like, hashtag Dryden, ring the bell if you like this content. I'm gonna do a bunch of old products, I think, for the rest of the summer. That's where my head's at. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna be full cards live at a place called Brooklyn, New York. Wow, 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 wow.